Today I've had a little bit of a play with the images for the for the Chrome Dev Summit site, the masthead images. If you look at what I've got on screen, it's the um, the, these mastheads images have the kind of angular kind of cutoff at the bottom. And I was thinking about this. There's kind of a couple of ways you could do it. One would be you actually just have the image as a rectangle, and then you kind of overlay something on the top, like a, a triangle, like, a, say, using SVG or something. And that's actually what I did in the, the holding uh, page, the the kind of announcement page here. There, these um, this is has a slight angle on it, which you can probably see if I make it a bit smaller. Um, has a slight angle on it uh, upwards. But the thing is, when you've got that triangle, when it um, uh, butts up to the the this sort of rectangular white rectangle above it in this case. Um, Sometimes there's like a hairline crack, and I filed a bug against Chrome saying, ah, there's a hairline crack on phones because of, I, I assume it's some kind of rounding issue to do with, you know, not exactly lining up. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I need to find a different way. And I've been messing around with SVG, and uh, oh, it's been, a, no, it's one of these things that I just, I could not get it right. Here's what I actually had, right? So I've got, um, got the image, and, and see, that kind of roughly works. Um, if you look at it, actually, let me switch across to uh, VS Code. Right. What we've got is th there's an image, which is a pattern. Um, so there's, there's a rectangle here, which uses the image as a pattern. Um, and it could have been, I think it could have been, an, I could have used an image element, actually, a square image element, because this was like kind of where I got to. Um, and then the there's a clip path of this clip. And the clip is the, the kind of, it's a rectangle with a triangular bit at the bottom. And um, because of the view box that's set, um, it's sort of, it's all kind of kept broadly in proportion. I don't mind the, the angle of the, the triangle kind of squishing in and out. I, it just kind of has to look okay-ish for the, for the screen size it's on. The problem is, like, the, um, the effect isn't what I want because the image is kind of getting smaller and shrinking to the bottom. And I, that's because, it's uh, x mid y max on the um, on the preserve aspect ratio. So I was like, oh, okay, why don't we do preserve aspect ratio non? But then you get you get that, which is like, yeah, and that's kind. Of, so now the clip is kind of doing what I want, right? It's always clipping there, but the, obviously the photo is getting squashed. Ah, so and the and it's also the case that if I do like um, x mid y mid, which is kind of what I want from the photo, um, as in I want the photo to when the screen's really wide and you can't really see it here. And if I zoom, oops, if I zoom out, like it doesn't, it doesn't spread. Whereas with the anyway, it this isn't working for me, right? So but Chris Coyer. Thanks, Chris. Yes. Has a post on um, CSS tricks, which I guess we'll make sure it goes into the description, um, which talks about using SVG as a clip for non SVG content, which is pretty much what I've got here. And in fact, uh, that's what I've got uh, gone ahead and done over here in the index page. Now you can see I've got the image doing what the image does. And that's just basically, it's just a div with the background, and it's set to background size cover. And if I don't have the clip on it, there we go. If I don't have the clip on it, you can see it just kind of, that kind of pretty much does what I want it to do. And then I can use media queries to make sure that, you know, if I need a small image, whatever. But, you know, I switch on the clip path, and the clip path is just basically this SVG with a clip path that's defined by the object's bounding box. So it just basically maps to the the a normalized version of those previous like view box values, uh, where one is the height, maximum height, and one, 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 zero, zero. Anyway, that all now works brilliantly. So it's just more that I've kind of cracked that particular problem uh, for now, which is kind of a weight off. The only thing that really caught me out when I was looking around was like, I couldn't get clip path to work. It doesn't throw any kind of warning or error in Chrome. It just doesn't do anything. It's still WebKit prefixed, but yet it's got a line through it saying it's being overridden by this. So I think I'm going to file a bug that says it should be one or the other. We should kind of put 
something against ClickPath that says, actually, I don't support ClickPath, or if we do, we should actually support ClickPath rather than WebKit, Kit, WebKit ClickPath. Wow. Didn't realize that was going to be a hard word to say today. So there you go. Uh, clipping with SVG on non-SVG elements, that should mean that I can do uh, this kind of effect and then have you know, other stuff behind it peeking through and all the rest of it, which is exactly the effect that I want. And I didn't know exactly how I was going to achieve it. <laughs> Wait off. Don't forget to subscribe uh, if you want to catch more of these videos. And you can check out the code on GitHub. I've been pushing stuff there. Toodaloo.